The title of this replay is Epic Urdif Solo Carry. Or Epic Urdif Carry, I don't quite remember the exact title. I'll preface this by saying I don't really like the RDF. It's got AFV qualities. It has, it has good gun handling, but it's just so... It doesn't have smoke grenades, which is really fucking stupid. I mean, if you're not gonna have smoke grenades, at least have some insane burst damage DPM. Like the BMD-2. And the BMD-2 has, you know, the equivalent gun depression. Almost as good gun handling. But it has... missiles on top of that. Whereas this thing's DPM, you know, even when built for damage, is not that good. And it has to expose itself to do any damage. I mean, it, it's a fun vehicle, but it's just such a stupid playstyle. And I mean, it's fun when you, when you carry people. And it's fun when it all works, but... I don't know, I, I, I just... It's not my favorite. It, it, it doesn't even get an honorable mention. It does. It can get some. Yeah, it can get some pretty bullshit shots like that, though. Or that. <laughs> or that. Back it up. Of course. I swear, I'm really wishing I had smoke grenades. So you have to be very, very vigilant of what enemies' view ranges are, and just hope teammates are spotting. Also, ram because they're very difficult to deal with in this because, well, you know, your DPM is so low, and you need a high sustained DPM to take out those Terminator-based vehicles. Oh well. So far, so good though. Looks just like a, another day with what I would call partial dream team. It's my Zufka amigos, Clippa, and Mr. Mac, and then my friend Dragon. Who, I think Dragon was one of my first friends in this game. He and I carried a team, and he said, Wow, we actually are decent at this shit. I'm like, yeah! And then one dumb thing led to another, and then before we know it, we were carrying more teams. But... Fortunately, he gets outflanked by an M8. I'm he didn't take more damage, actually. Those M8s are extremely dangerous. Oh, and hits him with a... Missile dildo, oh, ow, I hit the ground. Yeah, this is what I don't like about the RDF. It bounces around so much. It's stupid. And so you really do have to be moving slowly, or ideally sitting still. You know, this, this thing will camp snipe with the best of them. Look, look at how small that circle is. I only have, a, at this time, I hit either a level 3 or a level 4 crew. I mean, at, at level 5 with my setup, I run just the uh, chrome barrel liner, experimental repellent, and intercoms. I mean, this thing's gun handling will be amazing. It's just, the rest of it is kind of annoying. I guess, I, it, it's worth buying if you enjoy a challenge and you like a, a playstyle that's kind of light tank, but kind of AFV as well. Bagel Panzer is much better, though. Bagel Panzer would just fuck this thing up eight different ways. No question about it. And, a, you know, and a real AFV. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So now I go to my little hidey hole. Carefully back around the destroyed Uazes and Ladas. See what I mean about it bouncing though when I move? Uh oh. This is not what I wanted to do. God, oh, he. See, this is where I could do smoke grenades. Because my teammates are fucking spotting these enemies. Oh my god. Yep, you're pinned. That's all you can do. I mean, it's. The BMD-2 has a similar problem because it doesn't have smoke grenades, but at least the BMD-2 is much better sustained DPM, and it has those missiles, which you could help your DPM with, and or take out dangerous enemies that your saber runs wouldn't normally penetrate. And Dragon just got out of position, and he couldn't get back. He, honestly, he should have been up here with me. And so now... Now we're having some problems, because now my teammates are getting outflanked. I mean, I'm doing what I can from where I am, trying to get shots in the behinds of these enemies here. I'm also going to get some shots in that yellow M1A2. But... Oh, yeah, oh I remember. Yeah, my, my, yeah, I think Clip got disconnected or he was, he was away from the keyboard. Anyway. I'm going to do what I can against this M1A2. Oh my god, he hit the ground. Oh, it's a lucky break right there. I'm going to take it for all it's worth. Would ya? See if another car... Oh, see... Look gotta see this. Look at how bullshit of a shot. This is such a bullshit shot. And I can just, because the rate of fire is so good, you can just keep doing this. Again. And again. 
Oh, he finally took out the truck. And again. Unfortunately, if you don't pay attention, you will take damage, but it's still fun. Well, until that shit happens, until the AI grows a fucking brainstem. I'm like, you know what? Let's trade shots on when I would. Oh, let's oh, I still got the shot off! Oh, baby. Yeah, yeah, I thought Clip was away from the keyboard. So now it's just the three of us. Somehow ricochet off the Stingray 2, and the Stingray 2 somehow misses me. I'm not even sure how that works. So then, yeah, all right, well, I've, I've I've just had my bowels removed by that M1A2, but if I don't help kill him, he or help with the 2A5, they're going to cap, and or kill my friends. So we can't allow that. So I just started administering enemas. I mean, this thing, this thing will hurt. It's just difficult to make it work sometimes. I got see see how much my, my aim is bouncing when I drive forward or backwards. You know, the gun itself does not give you a lot of recoil, which is good. It's only a 76. I wouldn't be fail. I'm not, I'd be surprised if it did give you a lot of recoil. Nice. Good good coordinating fire there. Not quite done yet. There's still more to go here. <laughs> oh, here we go. Look at, look at this. This is such a bullshit shot. See, that, that's what the RDF is good at, because it aims quickly, but the circle for max accuracy is also really small. So, it, it really is. It's a very precise, kind of a step-in-the-eyeballs type tank. Not like a BMD-4 where you just pee in, in, in their ears. And I've already run out of ammo. Well, time to get more. We're almost ready to strike back. Yeah. Because of the show, you, you can use a lot of ammo in this vehicle, but not do a lot of damage. Don't that's something to get, get used to. Oh, that's a low damage roll by the T-14. Sorry for the frame rate lag there. Oh my god, I cannot believe he only did three. He must hit my unmanned turret. <laughs> Naturally, I... I make sure to tell the T-14 how I really feel. Poor type. So far, yeah, we, we, we've we bent, we've buckled, but we haven't broken. Don't worry, we will. Things get a little sticky towards the end here. Again, look at the, see how it just popped a wheelie there? It's not, it, it's, just, it's just so bouncy. And you think that doesn't get in the way? Oh, it does, oh boy. Nope, not gonna deal with that. Earth. Figure, all right, well, what, what's something that can take us out of the battle quickly? Artillery. And they're watching the other side, so I can probably solo cover this area. Just gotta get a shot at these guys. Yep, sure enough, there's there's a wild artillery. Might be able to get him one more shot. Of course not. What? Of course I would just get bad RNG there. Figures. Gotta make you use every last shot in this tank. Oh, shit. Oh, and he missed. I can get four or five shots off in the time it takes for him to get one off. Ah, Panzer Herpes. Slightly more attractive target. Oh, yes. Dead Panzer Herpes. Oh, yes. Moved to 70 is still alive, so I... Cautiously knock down a tree and prepare to do something strange to him. Like that! Another artillery, actually. Artillery on artillery action. This is, you know, X rated shit right here. Oh well. Now, we have a bit of a problem here. We still haven't gotten the secondary. And, well, obviously, I was distracted killing artillery, so they're starting to outflank my teammates. Hmm. I try to figure out something to do here. Possibly nudge the artillery. Possibly. I don't... I, I don't know if that hit. Uh-oh. So I was just... Oh, no! I have to somehow get everything now. I have to somehow get the secondary and kill these enemies. In an RDF. Identify. Oh boy. 
Woof em. Oh, I don't know. This, this is going to be tricky. Now, the RDF is quick in a straight line, so... Really? Really? Not now is when I'm going to run into a truck that I can't break? This is why it pays to be quick, though. If you can't, if you can't outgun everything, you know... Looks like we got the all clear. Outrun everything. Now is when you have to carry. Sometimes things just work, and you don't question it. You just... I, I can only take two shots. There we go! This thing isn't usually the greatest on the move. Especially if, when it bounces, but... Again! We would have lost right there if the shot actually connected, but it didn't! So I'm thinking, you know what? I'm just gonna stand my ground and fucking blow you to smithereens, MBT-70. Because you aren't good enough to win it for your team. Yeah! And I'm thinking, eh, you should probably back away. There's a VFM there. Ah, I still got my little shot. <laughs> Black Not a bad battle. Could have been a lot worse. It's time to take out that main I, I wasn't even confident that this would work. Out of all the vehicles I drive, I would not have expected an Urdov to pull this shit off. Yeah, and I mentioned the fetch my brown pants. Need them urgently. <laughs> Pretty good round. Stats are included at the end.